stopping me, I'm chosen. Got the crib on you, yeah, you know the motion. Only nigga on the line with a foreign. Wake up in the morning, what's the move for the day? Call my niggas up and tell them that I'm on the way. Did my lifestyle, did my lifestyle, yeah, yeah. Did my lifestyle, did my lifestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copping Birkin bags for you, it's a holiday. I'ma spend this money on me, that's the only way Did my lifestyle, did my lifestyle, yeah, yeah Did my lifestyle, did my lifestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah So, I'm looking good, I got on my pink suit I arrived to this fabulous event Raw, they did that thing. The museum was very beautiful. How they had everything set up. Now, this is what you call like a real event. Like this was really nice. They had like the little waitress coming to serve us with um like a dirt, like food, like little finger foods. Um, uh, we had they had the drinks, free drink. Well, technically everything was free. I did spend what six dollars on the ticket, but that wasn't nothing. Um. And I was just eating those little finger foods that it was bringing around. I didn't want to seem like fat and greedy, but I was hungry. And that that little um chicken little wrap thing they had was bam. I had about a good ten of those, and I had me a little little drink and a little lemonade and a little sweet tea. So the event is going on, and as time going on, you know me, time police. I'm looking at my clock. I'm noticing that a lot of raw friends um are there, but I don't see no fucking raw. <laughs> So at this point, I'm like, well, bitch, I'm showing up for you. I'm texting him, I'm texting him, no response. I even asked his homeboy, I said, hey, did you hear from Ron? He said, no, he said, I'm drunk on but Ron's not picking up the phone. So at this time, I'm just sitting at the table looking like, don't know the food, because I'm like, well, damn, I'm here for my friend, but he's not here. So at that point, I made the executive decision to take my ass home, because I'm like, at this point, if Ron's not here, I done donated my money, I'm here, I've been here for a good little two hours, and Ron's still not showing up. As I'm walking, on my way to my car, I finally was able to get right on the phone. I was looking for you to own. Um, he's the nice guy that had on. He had on all black with the gold accessories. He wanted me to call you. You do know him, bitch. Travis. Yeah, Travis. She well, she was entertaining. She looked. He looked so nice. I love this outfit. I'm so pissed. Bitch, I'm pissed. Firstly, I'm gonna say I'm sorry. I apologize. I bet you never sorry. I apologize for, you know, Justin coming and, you know, and I commend you for always being the person that actually comes out to the motherfucking events. You eat that up. Why the applause? Bad ass clap. When your outfit is not here, bitch, you can't go no fucking where. I was one other, you have to understand the level of expectation people have with me and that event. So, when you have a bitch who they know brings their A game all the time during that time, you're not gonna wanna go out there. Bitch, that's like Beyonce going to the Grammys and she's going out there with just a JCPenney ass dress. That's not how it works. Or going to the Met Gala Ball with just a JCPenney ass dress. That's not how it works. Yeah, you gonna reform my goddamn $60. Yeah, the food was good, child. I was eating them damn little um, chicken taco things, whatever that thing was. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little upset with him about that. I was really upset with him about that. Cause I'm like, I spent all my time here up here. I could have been home doing something else, but I came in to show you some love and hit this nigga did not show up. Killing them taking me to my car. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, bitch. Bye. The bitch ain't got his up. After do a little Valentine's Day shoot and all that good stuff. It just dawned on me, Rock, wow, this is the perfect time to bring back We Love Rock, cause bitches love me. Even though they don't want to admit it, bitches love me. So I was like, okay, let me get my invites together. Let me, you know, send it out, you know, and just talk to the girls. Let's have a good time. Let's have a good night. Let's wear pajamas and just eat, drink, have a good time and fellowship in my new place. Because a bitch have a house and a home now. So yeah, it's like, yeah, but look, 
Wow, I'm here. Yeah. It's cold. Period, girl. Hey, After the whole two hours later. Yeah. Take that shot. I made it though. That's all that matters. I'm good. I'm just This is tough to meet you. Thank you. It's cold. That's so good. Thank you. So Rod's having like a Valentine's Day party um, for the gays. So I decided to pull up in Charlotte to come. Um, I pulled up, it was a nice setup. We had food, drinks. You know me, I like a place where I get me some free food and free drink and I ain't gotta bring nothing. And I'm just ready to see the guy because maybe we can have that conversation that needs to be had within this group. So hopefully everybody shows up. Oh my God, you guys, like Valentine's Day is definitely one of my favorite holidays. And I'm just super, 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 super excited for where Valentine's Day is to bring. But my girl Rod did invite me to her annual Valentine get together. You know it's gonna go up. Every time we get together, it goes up. That's my bridge, that's my good sis. So I'm just ready to have a good time. I'm ready to drink, I'm ready to key, I'm ready to look good, I'm ready to feel good, I'm ready to be around people that I feel like, you know, has good energy. <laughs> Uh, I need something to put around here. Well, you watching all right. You ain't got no house shoes? Are you pull up, baby. She got a walk like that. You walk there for no time. I don't. <laughs> 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 you never called me, call me, call me like that. <laughs> Who the fuck Ross shoes got on? Look like Shaq's. Them old big ass shoes. <laughs> Dre is trying to drive the boat, but he up there drowning. You could tell he don't know how to give good head. His throat is his throat is not deep as we thought it was. Stick to your hookah, baby. Stick to your hookah. What? What's the same? What? What? How I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. 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 I feel like we've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the laugh is all part of that. Never. Say it again. Never, never. Never, never have I ever. Never have I ever. What the fuck you about to say? Don't be on no bullshit. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm trying to think of one, y'all. You okay. ain't never done no shit. Ooh. Okay. Never have I ever had sex in a funeral home. Why the oh, fuck would you do that? Well, I did. Oh, no. That's not what you're supposed to do, man. <laughs> Who did it? Full time out. You're supposed to do it. Who the fuck did it? Oh, you're on? getting yourself out. <laughs> You're not judging yourself. 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 You're not
He what? Ain't nothing to nobody. Watch him carry the casket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had sex in a funeral home. But technically, it wasn't where the dead keep the dead bodies. It was in the office part. Now, Dre nasty ass. What, uh, what is up with y'all with this man? You second, what? Never have I ever fucked in a graveyard. Now, you put that in a graveyard. You put that in a graveyard. I never put that in a graveyard. You have to put that in a graveyard. You have to put that in a graveyard. See, thank you. Mr. Casper, the friendly ghost, will go out and have sex in a damn gravesite. Now, I'd rather do it in the office at the gravesite. He's disrespecting them dead. His old nasty self up there. He. <laughs> I know he felt that cold wind up his ass. These bitches. Oh, wow. A graveyard? Where people are resting? People are resting. I'm so, <laughs> I'm gagging. Justin and Dre. So Justin has sex in a funeral home. You should be ashamed. Act the fool, girl. And Dre has sex in a graveyard? Like, yo! I'm scared to visit a fucking graveyard, let alone have sex there. Why are you disturbing them people? Y'all fresh out the cooch. Come on, fresh out the cooch. But no, when we left, when we left them people event. She was quiet at Applebee's. We wanted to go see the room. He did not want to see the house yet. And I felt some type of way because I'm like, bitch, you can let me see these damn rooms in this damn house. If I tell you to visit me and sit right here, you need to sit right here. First of all, they weren't even invited upstairs. They just came upstairs on their own. They can go in my room, you know, I have my bedroom where I sleep and I like my energy to be the only things that are allowed in that room is me and my man. Or me. It's like a play man. <laughs> What was it, Justin? No, they don't want me to speak on it. No, I didn't want you to speak on it. What happened? What was it? We just want to know where everybody else is at. You know, uh, oh, have anyone heard from Solomon? Has anyone heard from me? the Royals? Uh, Did they let you know that they wasn't coming to your event? Um, Once again, it's me and the old heads. Conversation can't happen either because uh, the same people that was at the mansion party was the same people here at the event. At this point, I feel like if we, if they, if the other group want to, you know, get good with us or we get good with them, then they have to meet us halfway because we are giving out invitations, but they're not coming. I understand that life does happen, but sometimes you just have to push for it and just try. If you really want this friend group, just try to, you know, put your big boy panties on and come and come and just come so we can chop it up. So I did. So I did. Honestly, I didn't expect Solomon to come because I didn't send Solomon a separate invite. No, I sent everybody else. Oh, yeah. Um, as you guys know, I don't fuck with Solomon. Um, so I'm not sending anybody like, uh, in by Shut up! Into my home that, you know, I really don't fuck with like that. And and you know, even That's though I did yeah. send the invite out, you know, if he came, he came cool. I would've got my blessed oil with Right. Yeah. But, um, earlier today, the Royals texted me and they were like, that they couldn't come because it says, and I quote, so, our mechanic is still doing extensive work on our car and said we won't be able to get it back to tomorrow. He was originally supposed to be done with it today, but he ran into another fault. I don't want you to think that we just decided not to come. I said, I said, okay, hell, why won't y'all just ride with Kale? He gotta come through there. He heard it and said, I called, I was shit. I said, I called him and he said, well, I'm not. But he heard it and his response was, okay, bet, let me check with Willie and I'll let you know. Oh, he was cute. Yeah. Then I said, okay, this is, uh, this is, I don't know, shit. 
I said, okay, that's if y'all wanna come. LOL, just trying to figure out a solution. She says she gets host of the year, y'all. And then I said, I'm trying, child. And um, I also said, Kelsey, y'all about to leave out in the next hour and a half. All day to let him know. Her response was, fuck, we're not gonna be ready by then. Tell him to go ahead, not trying to hold nobody up. Just not having the will when we thought threw us off, y'all friend. I mean, y'all have fun, child. When well, you say let you know, I guess that's real. Just to let you know. What you mean it wasn't gonna be ready in the whole hour? That's why I can't say that that's real because Kelly, like, they live. How far Georgia is from home? Huh? They was about to say they should have been ready. Exactly. They didn't want to come. They're on this wave. Uh, I, was, I want to see them. They're on this wave. Uh, I ain't care to see nobody else. Which I'm not offended by, you know, by any means, you know. I get my camera set. That's always a good saying. Who's here? It's supposed to be. Amen. So, like, I don't think. You think I'm too tired of you tonight? You in that shady shit. I said that was sweet. You being shady. I don't. No, I like that you said that because we're here. They already said you missed. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Overall, I feel like, of course, my party was fun. Um, thank you to my family, the people who, my chosen family, the people who I, who were up there with me. My best friend. I don't wanna cry right now, but everything that I host, majority of the time, every is there. And I just wanna say I love you so much. There is not a, fucking hair on our body that can't make us closer. And every time I have something, you're there. Every time I'm going through something, you're there. And I just love you for that. Cause you helped me out that entire day really. And you just came up just to, you know, like have fun. And I just love you so much. And everybody else who helped me too, Travis, um, Donovan, as you know, like everybody that made sure I was right. Everybody who was early and on time. Thank y'all so much, it was fun. Right before I was leaving, um, Zeke did present me with some cards that um, a few of the group members actually wrote me when they passed on my mom. So it, I'm very grateful that they would uh, they just thought of me and my grieving to actually take time out of their days to write these cards out to me. I was greatly appreciated. Thank you, Buki. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me. Yes. Girl, I think mine flew out the window. <laughs> Bitch! Come on, I only got two! But it's okay, it's the thought that counts. Thank you, and thank you for putting this together. I really appreciate it. Thank no you. problem. You gonna read them? Yes! You wanna read them in private? I'm gonna read these in private because I am a crybaby, and I don't wanna get, I don't wanna start crying. I'm a crybaby. What the fuck is this? Girl, that's what it on. That's raw. I'm gonna slap the fuck out of him. <laughs> He's too busy arguing with people. <laughs> he even write nothing in the damn car. <laughs> the thought that counts. It's the, he did call me. I understand. Yeah. I understand the loss of a king who's a queen. I am praying for your. I'm praying for peace in your kingdom. Thank you. Okay, the world. Thank you, guys. Thank Aww. you. I appreciate it. I truly do appreciate them for writing these cards, and I have them put up in like this nice display in my house. So I thank them for those cards and th thank thank you. Thank you to them for thanking of me as well. I greatly appreciate it. They know, Zeke know how to make somebody cry because I did cry on the way home because I was like, these cards are very beautiful. Thank you. Production started their message off with good morning after heavy consideration. Furthermore, didn't need to read. I've been fired. Um, that was not my <laughs> first thoughts on what that message was going to say. But it wasn't sur surprising either. Basically, me and Roman, I'm gonna just speak for us, we were not pulling our parts as far as cast members, only because life had took a toll on both of us in a major way. 
Um, shit. Life was happening. Here we are. Months later, nobody's getting along. Nobody's showing up for each other. We're, we're not, nobody is holding their weight. And but what else is it to do? We're not giving, you know, the viewers anything that they want to see as far as in, you know, us as a group. Basically what we're all linked together to do is showcase us as a group moving forward. And we're just not all in a space to move forward as a group like we should be. You know, for me at this moment, I'm just I'm going through life at the moment like life is hitting me personally really 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 hard at the moment so i'm not able to do my part as far as in showing up how i'm supposed to show up and that has taken an effect on the group altogether because if life is hitting me hard you know everybody else around me and us as a cast i'm pretty sure we're all dealing with things and it's just prohibiting us for from coming together like we should so and we were forced to cancel so i was asleep <laughs> and i had such a different plan for my day but when i woke up i saw some texts and it said the show in a in a roundabout way that the show was canceled me ah uh, hold on <laughs> what's going on because I am confused. You know, people wasn't showing up for work. Um, and like I said, when you don't show up for work, you get a pink slip. Um, so at this point, production, is, they had it. And they sent out a, a, a email to every single one of us letting them know that the show was canceled and that we was not going to move forward. Um, I was kind of, I had iffy feelings. One part of me, I was like, well, at this point, I ain't got to deal with these bitches no more. I don't give a fuck. But then another part of me, I'm like, you know, boy, this is something that we start. This is my baby because I'm one of the OGs. Ooh, girl, the cancellation <laughs> had the girls in a uproar. Like the girls were scrambling. The girls, were, the girls were all over the place. <laughs> I feel like I was the only call, but I was someone like, girl, okay, let's figure this out. Yeah, you wanna know why? Cut. I don't know my job is secure. I do what I'm supposed to. I show up. I show out. I'm funny, I'm fly, I'm hot, I'm sexy. Like, I do what I'm supposed to do. It was the girls who wasn't doing what they were supposed to do that was stressing. At this point, I was just really like, confused. But at the same time, like, in my head, I feel like everything happens for a reason. If it's meant for us to continue, we will continue. You feel me? Like, you gotta have faith and you gotta believe, you feel me? And once you start it, that it will finish, so. I was kind of, you know, sad a little bit, but I was like, you feel me? If it's meant to happen, we'll continue, we'll get it together. So the day that I decided to cancel the show, um, I just woke up that morning just not feeling like it was supposed to continue. Um, the day that I actually canceled the show, we were actually supposed to shoot that day. But prior to that day, I was having conversations with um, other members of production, family, friends, especially my cousin who um, sticks by my side at all times, like Zell. Um, and we were just kind of having conversations about just the show in general and how bad it was going at the time. Now, of course, there's going to be drama on reality TV, of course. Um, so that's one thing that I can say. Everything is real with these storylines, every scene, like they really go head to head at all times. And um, it was just honestly just becoming too much for me because people wasn't showing up. Um, people were saying, you know, since I don't like this person, I don't want to come. Um, to their event or I think I should stay home because, you know, I don't want it to get that bad. And I get that. But at the same time, we have to understand we signed up for a job. And I'm not talking specifically to just one person. I'm talking to the entire cast. 
as a whole because I feel like them as a cast, they have to hold each other accountable, whether you like each other or not. I'm only one person, I can only do so much. And at that time, other web reality shows were also having issues with their cast members. So I just kind of felt like it was just a series of events that just kind of led me up to thinking, well, well, damn, I've been feeling the same way about my show. I don't think I want to move forward with it anymore. And I just, I sent out the text, thought about it for maybe two hours before I sent it out. And I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to let it go. And, um, the response that I got from the cast members, they were gagged. <laughs> it was just hilarious. And it's like, I don't understand how when there has been so much going on that led up to it. People not showing up, everybody not showing up as a unit and as a group. And to be honest, the entire cast has not been under one roof or filmed together since the photo shoot. And that was in July of 2023. So we've been filming this entire time. And of course, we all have lives, we all have careers, whatever. But for everybody not to show up at least one time together before me canceling the show, that's alarming. That is very alarming to me because I felt like, damn, what the fuck am I doing still doing this show if I can't get everybody together? We as entrepreneurs, we, we put our time, effort, money into this show. And uh, I, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that, especially when you watch these shows. Camera equipment is not cheap. I don't care what people say about how the show look or whatever, whatever. Camera equipment is not cheap. Editing software is not cheap. Uh, these uh, promotions are not cheap. So, Gas is not cheap. <laughs> I live in a whole different state. And I don't think a lot of people know that. And I still get the show done. So a lot of things that I'm doing for them, I just felt like it was just like, they just didn't care. So that's what made me, you know, just say fuck it, honestly. Um, so I decided not to have cameras. I decided not to film it. Um, only because I just wanted to have everybody say their piece. Let me say my piece. And by the end of the meeting, if I felt like we were going to move forward successfully, then we'll continue with the show. And if not, I'm just washing my hands with it. So um, everybody showed up. Um, and everybody came at least to an understanding that, yeah, we might not like each other. Yeah, there's a lot of miscommunication. However, we still signed up for this show. So if we are going to do this show, let's finish it out. Let's come up with a conclusion. Let's find a conclusion so that we can just leave it there and move forward. So the meeting went well. And of course, after this, we continue with the show. I invited the Royals back over. Um, I wanted Cuban to reattack his song one more time. I had some things I was working on too, but it was just, uh, you know, just another like, let's have like a studio day. Let's have fun. And just make it do what it do. Okay, well, I haven't okay. seen you since the cast meeting. The last <laughs> fucking meeting. How did y'all feel about that? That was kind of crazy. Great on. Um, A little abrupt. Yeah, yeah, but I'm glad it happened. Um, I don't want to go first because I'm going to be talking shit. And I'm a little tense and so Y'all go first. What the energy is how you feel about it? Oh, um... <laughs> nah, no feelings. <laughs> um, I personally don't feel like I did anything to get fired, but... Hey, we're here. One band, one sound. I just feel like we went in there 
to get what we were supposed to get, talk about what we were supposed to talk about. And that's pretty much what I went there for. Not really to make amends with nobody. I mean, because I feel like everybody cool, with, you know, except the elephant in the room. <laughs> Heavy on the elephant. Well, let's start just like, just about what the meeting was about. Like, because I feel like we went there with the purpose of moving forward with like the rest of the cats and figuring out how we can, you know, I'll be in the same room. Yeah, I'll be in the same room. Because when you've been in the same room, well, most of us was in the same room at the soiree, which was, it was a great event. It was a fun time. <laughs> Did we ever talk to you about that? The this, this soiree? No. You were there for majority of the right? Mm-hmm. Here inside. Yeah. It was crazy. I had a really good time. I think I love what it stood for. I love what you all accomplished with it. I'm um, really proud of y'all. So cool. Thank you. <laughs> the performers were great. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that was one of them. But I'm just. Well, I'm right, stay with it. It was a reason why. And we're going to get into that reason. That's from the Um. You can just stay with it. <laughs> but, uh, um, but no, I, I think everything was great. I do think, you know, got a little. Mm, but hectic in there, the air definitely got hectic. Yeah, that was a little bit, but it was crazy. I feel like it took us all the back a little bit because I don't think we was kind of like expecting it. We knew it was tension, but we wasn't like expecting it to happen the way that it did. The way that it did, yeah. Um, I didn't really too much care about the situation that happened. I was just more so aggravated at the fact that everybody got up and left. Yeah. Um, that irritated me. Am I tripping or? Because they all kind of like got up and left at the same time. Granted, it had something to do with Rock. But I mean, it wasn't like Dre and Justin was involved. So it was kind of like. Why did they leave? Somebody? Why did they leave? Yeah. I mean, at least let somebody know or send a text message like, I appreciate you for the invite. Oh, I appreciate y'all for the invite. But I didn't feel comfortable in this situation. So, yeah, I just feel like we wasn't, I guess I feel like we wasn't old that. I mean, on the other hand, I can kind of understand like why they were left. I mean, why they left. Cause I mean, on the other foot as if we were the ones that came to somebody's event and you know, our mother was to get into it with somebody, of course we would leave with her. Mm-hmm. So I kind of understand that I don't feel like, I feel like that's kind of just in the air, like, mm-hmm. I came in with this person, I believe this person. Right. I just feel like that's kind of unspoken. I mean, that's fair, but again, as far as in not reaching out and saying, sorry, we had to leave or we didn't want to leave the event, we just, I feel like uh, an explanation was, excuse me, it was, I don't want to say necessary, but it was, it could have been offered up. Because granted, the situation that happened at the soiree, that didn't involve all of us. But then this situation happened, and it's kind of like how what we supposed. What situation? The situation, as far as in like the after show, and mainly Zarek's um, response to everything, because it all started with. Um, I think Ramey had did a live, and in that live, um, Zarek was on the live, and then I kind of joined the live. And he was basically saying that, um, well, I basically put it on the table because the whole issue was that he unintentionally forgot Justin's birthday gift after he gave y'all a birthday gift. And knowing us and knowing that we have had previous phone conversations before filming even started, he was just like, it was a plan, but then you get on the show. Instead of just being 100 and being like, I did that on purpose because I didn't fuck with such and such and da 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 da. And it's just like, I guess I was considered the liar. Well, I, I'm i lying, but we all know who the real liar in that moment was. Which pisses me off because for somebody that says, oh, I'm not a liar, or I'm this, that, and the third, or I stand on business, you lie about almost everything. You lie about almost everything. And like, it's not even like, I'm just going like, oh, you're just a liar. Like, you can see it. Even the situation that happened with y'all, as far as in just the, not the stuff that happened like personally, but the stuff more say uh, 
on the actual show like the whole using you making it seem like he was really interested in it but he was really using it as a storyline i mean we're talking about um what's going on what, what, what we were talking about at the meeting Kinda, yeah. it, it, it got brought up in the meeting, but we're just talking about like what led up to why the meeting was so tense. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I have nothing for him after after that shit. Because I thought that was weird. Because mm-hmm. um, in my head, it's like you basically, and this is just the way that I took it as a as a viewer. Mm-hmm. I, I say this as a viewer. You blind on me, and you didn't even. Anything to me that's weird. Mm-hmm. You plotting to use me for something that we could have talked about? Coming into the show, right? I have had conversations with Roman and Cuban before, um, um, but like Zyrika, I only ever seen once um, at the season one premiere of my life. So. Coming in, I was just like, like I didn't know how the vibes was necessarily when it came to Roman and Cuban, but you know, obviously I'm hoping for the best. Zach Rico, I was like, well, we ain't got anything to start from from back then, so we just started fresh. Um, so it was just like a, I don't know. I thought everything was one way. Um, finding out later that there was like a a plot to try to use me for a storyline that rubbed me wrong. I ain't gonna lie, that that definitely did. Cause I was like, like <sighs> the way it was explained to me was wanted like a couple storyline, but I was like, there's a, there's a couple on here. Like I don't know. I just tried to use me for a plot. Uh, it's I don't know. That's always gonna rub me wrong, but. Um, that quickly changed, um, and I guess while me and Roman and Cuban grew to be like this, me and Zyrie grew to be like this, <laughs> uh, and that's just the way to clearly grow, um, you know, but I don't know, it's just, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> what the hell has been going on online? So, some people decided, I don't know. I think it started with somebody taking something that I said about a page Same personal page. to them. It was a little chart page. Mm-hmm. Um, and I said, that shit is a joke because how can you be a chart page when you don't have access to numbers? Exactly that. I'm not gonna get to them. It. It's historical. <laughs> to me, that's a little made up. And if they do have access to numbers, congrats. It's still not bad enough, right? Um, because, and it's not even just because me and Bea's song was, you know, which is a great song. Thank you. Which is a great song. <laughs> Not because it was number 20, because honestly, I don't really care what a song lands on a chart. It's an amazing song. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the fact that, yeah. how, it's, it's literally me saying, how y'all get y'all numbers? Because I'm pretty sure I'm pulling streams more than almost everybody else at all. And that's no shade to them. <laughs> it's literally just, the way that my work ethic is. Uh-huh. The business side of it. Yes. Um, and like, I, I do music that is outside of just Instagram. I like don't perform. You know what I'm saying? There's different mm-hmm. methods of gaining these streams. I don't know what I'm so, either way, somebody took that a little offensively mm-hmm. and decided to start going shade. What did I do? Post my streams versus his. Actually, I posted the monthly listeners versus his, which was a 914 listener difference. Mm. Um, with mine being 900. So, 
<laughs> Got it. <laughs> and I don't even like pulling up numbers. I don't care about numbers, but numbers have to come into play when you start trying to play. Because I know what I put into it. So trying to say that you are one a better rapper than me is crazy because are you? Two, trying to say that you got more fans than me, trying to say people like your music more than they like mine. What's the saying? Men lie, women lie. The numbers don't lie. They don't. So that's the only time I pull them in. So I posted that and he tried to post something about a diss track. And I guess he had one that he had started. And I said something about it. And so then he went and deleted it and was like, make sure y'all move in silence so your enemies don't know what you're doing. And so then he tried to post another snippet and I posted Jack the Ripper. Which was another great song. <laughs> Congratulations on Jack the Ripper. Thank you, thank because that's how you respond to a bitch. You did that. And I usually like, I don't usually respond to shit like that because I don't like doing, engaging in all the dissing and stuff like that. But the way that I decided I was moving this year was, I'm not letting anybody off the hook. And so if I, I told him, hey, put it in the music, take it to the booth, that means I had to say it. For her to keep it. The difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I was told, he said something about my um, health. So like me being positive, trying to take a jab at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think that that's really dumb because if you were going to be somebody making music, a gay person making music, that means people in the community are gonna look to you for certain mm -hmm. things, right? Right. So imagine somebody that loved you, one of your followers hearing you say shit like that. And they are dealing with that. So he was making fun and kind of trying to poke at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. And yeah. Un uneducated jab too, because the bitch tried to say I was no seriously burning, and I was like, "Well, that's not what." And you uneducated, <laughs> like <laughs> dumb as shit. I am HIV positive. It's not a secret. Um, and you know, happy, healthy, loving my life. Take my medicine and do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm good, um, but. Artists will still try to use that against me as if that's a weapon. And it's not. But I ignore it for the most part. <laughs> um, this is time it was brought up and somebody was trying to say that I was over here itching and burning and this, that, and the third. And I think that's when I had enough because while you can make those comments at me and I don't care because obviously you're wrong and uneducated and you sound stupid and ignorant and sad and miserable. Shit, pick one. Um, other people can see this. Other people can, um, let's say somebody is dealing with something like that and you are shaming somebody, especially, especially if you are a part of the LGBTQ community and you are talking down on people about something that has historically affected our community the most. It's not like that necessarily anymore. Look at your statistics, you understand. But to try to weaponize something like that, something that nobody asks for, something that you can't, that it, 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 it just takes one person and sometimes it don't even take a person. Sometimes you can get accidentally stuck by a needle and then what? So I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like trying to talk down on people, especially when people are living their lives and they're happy and healthy and it, it, it everybody laughs until it's them. And that's so unfair. That is so unfair because the stigma is so heavy and it's still so prevalent today where it's like so many people are simply just uneducated it takes three seconds to google search simple facts about it simple facts to understand what it means to be hiv positive simple facts of understanding 
what it means to deal with somebody that is simple facts to understand how to support somebody that is so why would you take the time out of your day where you could be using something for good to waste it on being negative and talking down on people like people have lost their lives not due to the hiv itself but because they got it and they didn't want to be alive anymore that's not a joke to me it was the sense of like me trying to be like hey let's not do that mm -hmm. here's an opportunity to actually spread awareness all it takes is posting a link and somebody can use that link to find out so much it takes from one post one post takes what on your story it takes 30 seconds if that max 30 seconds of your time that could benefit the rest of somebody else's life. I don't know, but that boy was like, well, it wouldn't be real support. I don't really give a fuck, da 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 da. And I was like, okay, nobody gives a fuck until it's done. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. And then I, I took that and continued to push, even when it got a little difficult, because I was like, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. This is heavy. I don't really want to deal with it. But Even if like, I don't, I don't have to have the most followers. The fact that I didn't even tell nobody. One person ended up coming to me saying, hey, I seen all of that and I really needed it because I've been dealing with it and haven't told nobody. Oh, I love a bitch that can turn a bad situation into something good for them. And one thing about my boy Solomon, he's always gonna have another trick up his sleeve. But before we get into that, I absolutely admire how he was taking all the shots, he was eating them up, mwah, and turned it around to turn it into a, basically advocating for his community. You know what I'm saying? His community, that's our community too. I'm very proud of him for, you know, taking the high road in this and, you know, just educating not only me, but, you know, other people who aren't, you know, fully equipped to understand the circumstances and the issues people face with that status. So kudos to you, Solomon, for, you know, taking a high road and, you know, getting the right information out there. But cheers to fucking you for what, raising awareness for that cause, because bitches is gonna say whatever the fuck they gotta say, but when you take your, use your platform to educate others on things that they lack information about, then, you can't help but take a shot to that and because what the one that really can't speak for that city. Exactly. Like, yeah. Cheers to you, bitch, for mm -hmm. taking that opportunity to use that, even though that means a lot. Exactly. So what we start with? Start with you. What do, what do you want to start with? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. well, you're the one pushing the keys on the keyboard, so <laughs> and you're the one with the talent. Maybe that's coming either way. <laughs> oh. And that's on Mary and her little Okay. Name. okay. I love love faster than the seasons change this thing my final form Word to Chucky, this is child play, call it children of the corn Please don't panic, I'm the dragon, breathe the fire cause I'm bored Somebody get cut whenever I spit, you think my tongue was like a sword Still, who they came to see me, touch down like I'm Chief Keith I don't stay cause it's real, so keep me out of that cheap beef Keep me out of your weak tweets, I don't care to do meat Greeks Made your bed with them cheap sheets, this and me on them weak Beats. Please don't get me high cause I'm a project with a prospect Body in these verses UAV I'm on that high res Infinity and no until they sell me I'm a high threat Why they testing me? My quality don't need a mic chick on the season finale of My Lifestyle. Zyreek Green. One, two, three. Hold my titties, child. Hold my titties. Five, now, back to my old. It wasn't, it wasn't, I don't, I'm topping, still a bad bitch from the bottom. <laughs> bitch, so that's what we call them. Lovey dubby shots from Cupid. These are the shots from Cupid. <laughs> Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today. Oh, scared, Jesus. Yeah, move. 
Over. I'm out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>